Hey there, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here in today's message, Harness Creative Thinking. Harness Creative Thinking. The joy is in the creating, not maintaining, said Vince Lombardi, NFL Hall of Fame coach. Creativity is pure gold, he said, no matter what you do for a living. Annette Moser Wellman, Wellman, author of The Five Faces of Genius, asserts, quote, the most valuable resource you bring to your work and to your firm is your creativity. More than what you get done, more than the role you play, more than your title, more than your output, it's your ideas that matter. Despite the importance of a person's ability to think with creativity, few people seem to possess this skill in any abundance. If you're not as creative as you would like to be, you can change your way of thinking. Creative thinking isn't necessarily original thinking. In fact, I think people, I call it mythologize. I look that up, by the way. They, they have this myth, this thought that somehow it, it, they, they need to come up with an original thought. I, I haven't had an original thought since the day I was born. Everything I know, I've learned from other people. Does that mean I'm not creative? Absolutely not. Most often, creative thinking is a composite of other thoughts discovered along the way and other people who will inspire you. Even the great artists whom we consider highly original, they learned from their masters. They modeled their work and that of others, and they brought together a lot of ideas and styles to create their own work. You know, when I started public speaking, I would speak often like the people I would listen to. I wasn't myself. And then I eventually learned to be myself, to be creative, but yet I followed the guidelines of some of the greatest speakers and communicators of all time. This is what great artists do also. If you study art, you will see threads that run through the work of all artists and artistic movements, connecting them to other artists who went before them. So harness creative thinking and you too will be living your absolute best life, coming up with great ideas that will change your world, the world around you, and this place will be a lot better off. Thanks for joining me in the locker room. Happy Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the daily message? Click on the Tell a Friend tab, fill in their information, and help spread the inspiration. 